Realism is a style of art that started in the mid-1800s, and we have a great example of that work here. This is Gustave Courbet's The Stonebreakers. The realists were really interested in showing off a real slice of life, so they would show the positives and the negatives within their works of art. Here, if you look closely at the clothing, you'll see some little rips uh, in the shoulder and again in the shoes. So we're showing off the hardship of these people as they work. And they're not all just rich people or famous people or people who are special in some particular way. The realists were interested in showing off the people of their day and what their lives were really like. It was kind of a way to educate everybody, I guess. Um, they didn't want to just create paintings that were fluffy and fun like previous schools of art might have. This one also by Courbet is called The Funeral at Ornans. A funeral isn't something you might want to hang in your living room, but it was an everyday topic. It was something that sort of happened and the town would gather and pay their respects. There's not a lot of high drama in this picture. Everybody's got some natural poses sort of going on. Um, and we see everything is painted realistically. We see the poor people, we see those with a little bit more wealth, the religious. Um, so we're showing that again, that slice of life. Here is called the Gleaners by Millet. They're just gathering the wheat from the field. It's everyday labor. This isn't the Romanticism period where they would show man and nature working together. This is really people who have been hired to take up the hay from the land and then they get paid for their labor. We could see that that's hard work. Their clothes are a little tattered. It isn't like they're wearing their Sunday best to do this kind of work. So the artist is trying to show off a slice of life. The mid-1800s is also when slavery was a big deal in the United States and we had the Civil War. Here we see some slaves escaping from the south heading to the north. And the artist Eastman Johnson was interested in showing the people of the north the struggle that was going on and maybe get some people from the north to rise up and help take up the cause of slavery and to bring an end to it. So again, their paintings had some sort of purpose, a little bit of meaning to shed some light on something that was going on. This is also the time that photography was invented and these artists wanted to show off that they were better than a camera. Even today, there are artists that use the realist style. This is Chuck Close's self-portrait and we get to see that it's very realistic. Every hair on his face has been painting. This isn't a photograph, this is an actual painting with brush strokes and all. So even today, people are using the realist style to show off realism, to show off what's going on, both the positives and the negatives.